Hello allies, it's Mel. I wanted to do a hopefully quick video about modification. Um, and so there's modification associated with gear and with chip. And um, for chip modification, I do not have enough material in order to do modification, um, but then it's a little bit more straightforward. They have, uh, there's the material cost, which is stated here regarding doing the modification. Your chips need to be um, eight star or higher in order to do modification. And there is a success rate associated with modification that changes depending on the level of modification that you are attempting to do. For gear, if I tried to modify this, I can't modify it because it needs to be an eight star gear. But um, as you can see, I have three gear with the green arrow to increase and so um, I do have enough materials to promote the rifle and so if I confirm that do the promotion now it has the thing for modification and so right now I have a default stat associated with build speed which is a one star build speed or one star skill. And so um, I can modify this. And so it has the information about like, you know, what stats are possible for the different levels and to show kind of like what the maximum potential um, stat is. There, um, you know, is also a description regarding um, the act of modification. It's random. And then um, that it essentially, it also talks about like the stat lock so that um, if you want to be able to, you, you, you can choose how you want to modify um, based on the lock stat, but then um, it's important to kind of like make sure you 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 get if you get a five star that you um, make sure that you can unlock the next stats, and then um, they have this settings which is located here, and um, I haven't really modified this, so these are all set to default. And so um, this allows you to filter what kinds of notifications you get. And um, so it'll essentially like yell at me for everything if I have higher level star things that I'm not transferring to modification. Um, I don't know why you would want to do the disable. Um, Perhaps, you know, depending on a task, you might want to, um, like maybe you're exchanging a super weapon or you are trying to get kills or, um, yeah, I'm not really sure why you would disable, but they have the capability to disable the, the stats. So if I tap modify, it says that I have rally troop defense. So if I try to remodify it, I think it will yell at me that it has um, a higher thing that I haven't exchanged. Nope, it didn't. Um, so it's not high enough yet. But um, so it's, it's a two star stat modifier and it's better than my build speed. So I'm going to replace that it confirms and it kind of like removes it from the modification area and then if I want to remodify it's a four star so that's even better I will replace that and then um, 
you know, depending on, on what kinds of stats you want to aim for, you can also exchange it for lower stats, but that you may want more. Like uh, I had a five star vehicle attack and everybody knows how much a fan I am of vehicles. And um, so I activated it in order to get the five star slot open but then I didn't need to keep it. And modification is really frustrating, <laughs> but this is a good one. I will keep the, the fighter attack, but it's not five star. And I will probably run through all of my <laughs> modifiers before I can show the locking. I am really unlucky with modification, I think. <laughs> so if anybody has any tricks on um, what seems to get away from <laughs> one star modification, <laughs> I definitely don't have that trick down. Ah, modification. Okay. So I have a five star. It's steel output. Um, it's not the most exciting <laughs> modification, but it is a five star. So if I replace that it then unlocks the second slot. And then now it has um, these lock capabilities. And so if I put in the lock, it then requires for the next modification um, that there will be a lock present there. I can take this off and I can still do the lowest cost modification. But then if I wanted to replace it, and I put this on here now, um, okay, it will let me do that one. Um, I have seen ones where it wiped out the modification, so it may depend on the level of the modification that's involved. But if I put on the lock, I can replace and it should hold the five and replace three. But this, hopefully that will work. Yeah. Nope. See, so because I did the modification without the lock, it did not um, hold that lock stat. The lock has to be active at the point at which you do the modification for it to hold.
Oh, see, that's the then where um it yelled at me regarding um doing a modification and not replacing with the five star. All right, so it will help the you to figure out. And then so because I do not have two five star stats anymore, um, I cannot unlock the third slot. And so I will need to put on that lock um, and try to modify in order to get a five star back in order to unlock the next modification slot. And I will run out of modifiers. All right, so that shows you um, how to do a modification, some aspects associated with the lock um, stats and such. And then, of course, if I lock this one, um, it becomes more expensive. I need to use more locks, um, but I can leave that off because I want that to be five star. Um, so I hope that that helps.